Occupy Louisville. So, video two. Um, before anybody gets it wrong, I'm. This, the, all this video is is for the people in Occupy Louisville to talk about the different ideas of which I am thinking. This is my perspective. I have not been able to. Um, uh, I've got a lot of ideas here, and I think there's a lot of good ideas. There's something to be worked with. So uh, if there's a, a, any of these things you want to work with, I'm I'm willing to work with. Okay. Um, any of these ideas? These are ideas. Are all these ideas are good? Okay. So. Um, I just don't want to get it wrong. My Facebook page, I have two Facebook pages, which, you know, I shouldn't be saying online, but this uh, video is only going to get a few hits. Check out how many views there are. There isn't that many views. And it was uh, just shown to um, my other Facebook, which has a select number of people on it. So my revolutionary crew. The rest, the, the other one is my public profile. Um, you know, for everybody else. So the ones that are more exclu ones more exclusive and ones more for for everybody. So look at the views. There's only gonna be a few views. This is for you, okay? Um, I want to, you know, yes, yeah, for it's for your, all y'all. So I mean, I, I just run down the gauntlet, right? So who's who's all on my Facebook <laughs> uh, wall here? Um, we got. Well, okay, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to do that. But the, um, I think everybody should run for office. Put your name on the ballot. At least put your name out there. You have a bullhorn, October 26, 2012. Um, you know, 20 something days from now is the last day to run for office. You can run as a write in candidate. Uh, I have three main ideas. I want, uh, I think Kentucky's, uh, I get, we got a three headed Cerberus. Cerberus, which is a three headed dog, which. Um, is guarding Hades, let the people in Hades or whatever. So it's this evil dog, three-headed beast we gotta slay. So this three-headed monster that we gotta slay in Kentucky, since we're the shithole of America when it comes to healthcare, education, and wealth. So we got lots of poverty, lots of sick people, and lots of dumb people. We need to fix our education system. We need to fix our healthcare system, and we need um, uh, better economics. Economics. It's all about the money, stupid. It's all about economics. Also, I'd like to point out uh, how the media is fucked. They're not informing us. We have a powerful media that points out any type that, uh, that any time there's bloodshed, they're right there. They show us all what's going on. Uh, but when it comes to actually informing us of the civic issues that we need to know, who are our candidates, who are the good guys, um, how come you know Mitt Romney nor Obama gives a fuck about Kentucky? Why is Kentucky considered a safe state? Why is Kentucky definitely going to go for Mitt Romney? And since we're definitely going to go for Mitt Romney, um, shouldn't we be looking at our local elections? There's going to be a greater turnout this year because presidential elections have a greater turnout than any of the other years. But we have historically our governor's race last year is 25%. So maybe we'll get 26%, maybe 30% this year, you know, if we're lucky. Uh, <coughs> so the media is not pointing out the progressive candidates. Uh, so I want to point out how shitty the fucking media is, even the so-called liberal media, who is the gatekeepers who control the debate, who made fun of Gatewood Gabbard, even though Gatewood Gabbard was a Huey Long of Kentucky, Huey Long, who uh, believed in the share of the wealth program and believed in a lot of the views that many progressives had, but they didn't give a shit about that for gay marriage. Um, about the economics, about better health care, better education. Uh, I was going to give a $5,000 voucher for all college students. College students should not be accepting the raping. That had been another issue I'm going to point out. So I think the three-headed monster is always there. The education, health care, and uh, poverty issues. The economic issues are always going to be there. Economic is totally occupied Louisville. Um, but the, um, the, uh, the media and the college students... Um, and homelessness. Those would be like the three main issues I want to highlight with my candidacy, whatever I run for. I'm thinking maybe soil and water co conservation district supervisor. I don't know, riding candidate for something. So um, if we all ran, that would give us all more leeway, more say so. Um, we could also get people to ride in and maybe even win the damn thing if that's, that's at all possible. But that's not the point. The point is to raise awareness for the college tuition rates, which is ridiculous. Canada, Mexico, nobody's paying for college in anywhere around the world. <laughs> Mexico has free college, okay? Mexico's got free college. When they try to put student, they try to put little fees on Mexico, 
Mexicans, fucking Mexican students rose up and said that's bullshit. We want free education and they got it. Uh, but Americans, you know, we're, we're educated, right? We're the fucking best in the world. We don't fucking know what's going on. Um, we're not, uh, uh, if we're properly being properly educated, we would know better. We would know that we should shake our fist to power, but um, all the uh, rallies, the U of L rallies, are always have like 10 to 20 people. And if they're forced to go, the SGA was forced to go last year and they fucking hated it. <laughs> so sometimes the, the protesters don't even, don't even give a fuck about, you know, the issues that they're supposed to give a fuck about. So college students, homelessness, and media. Those would be the three issues I'd want to point out. Um, debates. The League of Women Voters are going to have debates, and they're going to have forums. So I think they're going to cover up the debates and things that I kind of wanted to do. I think it would have given uh, Occupy some incredible credibility, incredible credibility. And uh, but since the League of Women Voters are already going to do it, then that's their thing. I do think we need to have an Occupy pamphlet, uh, information pamphlet uh, to pass out to the general public, like what the KFC, the KFTC also does. A lot of actually voting groups have that, um, where they go through and they endorse the candidates. They have a little write-up about the candidates they like and the ones that they don't like. So, <coughs> so we can still put out that information pamphlet. It doesn't stop us, even though uh, K, uh, FTC and League of Women Voters and Courage Journal vet all these candidates. That doesn't mean that we can. Uh, that doesn't stop us from asking the hard questions. So we should ask the hard questions. Mitt Romney is going to win Kentucky, so that election don't even fucking matter. Don't vote for vote for Jill Stein or Gary Johnson. If you vote for Obama or Romney, fuck you. You don't know shit about politics. If you vote for Mitt Romney or Barack Obama and you're a Kentuckian, Kentucky is going to go Mitt Romney. So waste your vote. If you want to vote for Obama, you're pissing your vote away. He ain't going to win. Vote for Mitt Romney. He already win. It doesn't even fucking matter if you vote for him. Make your vote matter. Make your vote count. Vote for a third party, a Green Party, or a Libertarian. Gary Johnson, Jill Stein. Check them both out. Both of those candidates are really fucking good candidates. Huey Newton, Black Power, Black Panther Party for self-defense. He had a 10-point program, 10 points. I think 10, a list of 10 things is a good idea. Having a list of 10 ideas for a platform, I think Occupy Louisville should have a platform. They should have 10 ideas that they want to see accomplished. A 10 point plan. Uh, some ideas, I think the Marshall Plan for the West End is a good idea. Just put a ton of resources into the West End. Um, we need a left wing media to counter the Rush Limbaugh's and Bill O'Reilly's and the other Hannity and fucking shock jock fucking conservative fucks. They, there is a, a right, right wing machine, but there is not a left wing machine. Um, there's a big business machine, there's a right wing machine. And there's uh, MSNBC, which is kind of left. They lean left, but they're the ones that fired Keith Olbermann and Sink Ugar. And Maddow didn't even fucking stand up in solidarity with her comrades. She kept her fucking job and then got her friend a job. So she didn't. She was glad they fucking left. She got her friend a fucking job. Fuck those people. Well, I got my friend a job. So, <coughs> fortunately, there's not much solidarity with. Um, you know, some of the leaders. Conan O'Brien said he was for the screenwriters, but he still kept performing. John Stewart did the same fucking thing. And uh, Seth MacFarlane was right about that when uh, John Stewart wants to fucking wag his finger like he's a fucking moral arbiter of Hollywood. Um, he wants to wag his finger at Seth MacFarlane's if he is, but that's pretty much what <laughs> uh, John Stewart is, right? He is the moral arbiter. So we need a left wing media, we need a Marshall Plan for the West End, we need land reform. Um, how can we stand, how can you expect the citizens, uh, any citizens to stand up if they don't have anything to stand on? We need some land. We need house, land, basics. Go back to the basics. Clothing, housing, land, food, water, education, health care, wealth, economics, basic, very, very basic. Kentucky is a shithole. We need to go back to the very, very basics. What is it that humans need in order to survive? We need a civilization. We need a community. We need a civil society, an active civil society. And um, we need food, we need housing, and we need clothing. We need some land, uh, nationalized coal. I think we can make money if we nationalize coal. And decriminalization, use Gatewood Gabbard's plan. We can pay for all of this, every bit of it. 
Um, so th those are some ideas for the 10 point plan. Also, the uh, I think the Waterson Expressway and the Gene Snyder Expressway, those fucking names need to be changed. Fuck that shit. How the fuck are we going to be honoring a bunch of white supremacists here in Louisville? Come on, Louisville. We can do better than that shit. White supremacist. I mean, we got all these white supremacists running for the school board. We're going to go back to segregation. Jim Crow's on its way. Rand Paul wouldn't even vote against civil rights. Rand Paul, that's, that would be our senator. And uh, you also had David Williams, who was race baiting. That's all they fucking do. Mitch McConnell, they fucking race bait like a motherfucker. Nixon's Southern strategy. Henry Watterson was the one who founded the Courier Journal. He's also the one that rode with Nathan Bedford Forrest. So the Watterson Expressway, which is there's two big loops that go around Louisville. The smaller loop is the Watterson Expressway, and the bigger loop is the Gene Snyder Expressway. I think it's 264 and 265. Could be the opposite, but I'm pretty sure 264, 265. That's what I'm going with. So you got two loops. The little loop is the Waterson Expressway. So you got the Waterson Expressway, and he was riding with Nathan Bedford Forrest. Waterson, who founded Courier Journal, was riding with the founder of the Ku Klux Klan. Nathan Bedford Forrest, who was in the, the Fort Pillow Massacre. That motherfucker. They killed lots of innocent fucking people, just fucking bloody racists. Just couldn't wait to kill as many black people as they, as they could. <coughs> They, they could get their hands on. That's that's the that's the Courier Journal's founder, Henry Watterson. That's the fucking expressway. We need the fucking expressway after this fucking asshole. And then also a uh, Gene Snyder expressway, the 265 one. He voted against the Civil Rights Act of 1964. He was against Martin Luther King. The only time America's ever seen any type of democracy. The only fucking time we've ever seen democracy. So I think. Um, fuck these white supremacists, fuck honoring these white supremacists with names on their fucking roads, uh, just cause Gene Snyder found the fucking money, they said that's why he should get the fucking expressway, well, you voted against civil rights, you fucking piece of shit, you're on the wrong side of history then, you're on the wrong side of history now, all you white supremacists are on the wrong side of history, stop being a racist, Kentucky, you know that it's here, it's white America, racism exists, stop being racist, everybody, white and black people, let's all just... Let's all just get along. Can't we all just get along? Then, uh, uh, 92 LA, uh, Rodney King, Rodney King just died. I mean, can't we all get along just on his behalf? The motherfucker died. He fucking died. He's a martyr for the race war cause. And we can rename the highways Gloria Powers, the first, uh, African American representative in Kentucky, Gloria Powers Expressway. That would be sweet Gloria Powers, Lyman Johnson. Ann Braden, Muhammad Ali, MLK, there's plenty of names, Blaine Hudson, Bruce Tyler, there's plenty of fucking names that we can go with, okay, instead of these fucking racists, fuck Watterson, fuck Gene Snyder, fuck Nathan Bedford Force, fuck the Ku Klux Klan, fuck Fort Pillow Massacre, fuck anybody that's against the Civil Rights Act of 1964, fuck anybody that's against the Brown versus Board of Education, fuck anybody that wants to go back to neighborhood schools, fuck anybody that wants us to undo our integration policies, go to our schools, they're very diverse. You want to undo that? You want to make sure that it's just totally homogenous, homogenous and racist? Come on, Kentucky. And there's, there's, white people don't have culture. There's, um, we need to be more compassionate. We need to care about others. We need, we need to, um, be tolerant. If we are truly Christians, as which our traditions, it has dictated us, we're in the Bible Belt, so this is a, a Christian um, part of the country. You know, Judeo-Christian values, that's what they say they came up with. If we are to be, truly be Christians, then we should love other people as we love ourselves. Do unto others as we have them do unto you. So if we have people that are sick and we have people that are poor and we have people that are struggling and um, sick, poor, uh, what's the three-headed beast? Uh, health care, education, and poverty. So we got poor people, sick people, and dumb people. We need better education systems, better health care systems, and better economic systems. Here in Kentucky, that's the three-headed beast, Kentuckians. Kentucky needs us all, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, come on, Occupy Louisville. There's a fucking platform. There's several fucking ideas that we could be working on. All those are good fucking ideas. 
Um, I can be useful to somebody if you like those ideas. If you don't like another idea, just present me with the idea. Tell me what's going on. Um, I am working on several things. And, um, yeah, so that's what I think. There's my opinion. Get back to me. Peace, Occupy. Viva la Revolucion.